welcome back to my channel tiffany's passions i hope everyone is having a wonderful day guys i'm excited to share with you another dollar tree haul and welcome to another addition to my what's the word wacky wednesday super fun it's an open collaboration to anyone who would like to join i'm quite sure if anyone new would like to participate in this open collaboration the host angela's house and lifestyle she would love for the participation as well it's a super fun collaboration like i say anyone can join in if you have a youtube can channel and you upload content as well it doesn't matter what kind of content you want to share if you want to participate in the open collaboration you're more than welcome to join in and all you have to do is on any given wednesday it doesn't matter what time or how many wednesdays you want to choose to uh, upload any wednesday you choose you upload your content you try to dress into something a little wacky as well that's the fun part of the collaboration and then when you upload your video you make sure you use the hashtag all lowercase what's the word wacky wednesday and do not forget to tag angela's house and lifestyle in your video as well that is all you have to do it's super fun i like to participate as much as possible and so i have another um video i want to go ahead and share with you guys again this week and so my addition to the what's the word wacky wednesday is going to be another dollar tree haul i found some amazing items at the dollar tree very much coffee overload a, li a little bit as well <laughs> and some other attires here as well i want to go ahead and share with you guys so my little wacky attire today as you can kind of see i tried to do the snowman snow woman whatever you want to call them um but yeah i got the little head band i have the little glasses i have the tie but it was so long you can't really see it on me so i tried to pin it up a little bit so you can see my little snowman here as well and on the bottom it says merry christmas i got all of these three little attires here from the dollar tree well i think dollar tree didn't have the snowman glasses at the time so i got these from dollar general a family dollar one of them for a dollar and the headbands and the tie from dollar tree that's my attire i'm super excited so let's go ahead and jump into this dollar tree haul i am so excited that i found something now i've already eaten this but i'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys anyway so this is the russell stover's assorted milk and dark chocolate candies um and this is what they look like they're in the back in the box they were right at the front checkout you get three little candies inside i've already eaten them i had a sweet too but just to show what you guys you get three little pieces candies in the box for a dollar 25 but russell stovers we all know is a very name brand especially for the holidays me and my family we love to pick up different russell stovers candies for the holidays that's just been always been our thing um my grandmother used to do it years ago and we just kind of started picking up um as we go along as well so for different holidays we always like to look to russell stovers but um yeah they have these at the dollar tree three for um a dollar 25 and so i did pick up a box of that coffee overload guys we have plenty of coffee we have all the new coffee so i was super excited to find some so i got one of my favorites this is the repurchase they only had one um in the store but this is the jim bean bourbon vanilla i picked up one more just to add into my collection and so every time I see these, I try to pick them up. These are very hard to find, but I found the K-Cups in other stores as well. But um, Dollar Tree have the grounded coffee. The bourbon vanilla is the one that I really, really like by Jim Bean. And so I did pick up another one of those. And we have some new Harry and David that's been floating around my stores. So it's finally got them in. And so I'm going to show you guys the ones that I picked up the harry and david ground coffee all four ounce bags and this one is the maple vanilla and when i tell you it smells so good coming from the bag i cannot wait to try these but they have the maple maple vanilla one and so i picked up that one i just picked up one of those this one i was kind of on a fence i did not really want to pick it up but i said well let me go ahead and get it for the try it's new let me try it it wasn't my favorite choice to pick up but i said it sounds interesting milk chocolate and peanut butter coffee don't know if i'm gonna like this one here i did pick up one to give it a try the milk chocolate and peanut butter it just doesn't sound like a great coffee combination oh my is this kind of uh oh i done knocked down my light Hold i on. really really need to invest in a nice light um as i'm recording i have a ring light but i didn't like it because i have wear a lot of glasses and you can see the ring light in my glasses so i didn't like that but i really need to invest in getting me a nice light for when i'm recording um 
but like i was saying the um harry and david ground coffee the milk chocolate and peanut butter i'm not sure if i'm gonna like this but i'm gonna go ahead and give it a try as well like i shared many times i'm not really a fan of chocolate type of coffees but it was new and it smells really really nice so i'm gonna give it a try and see it may not give me the idea in my head of what i'm thinking it's gonna taste like it may taste actually pretty good but i'm gonna give this one here a try as well so yeah they have that one and when i seen this one i picked up two of these don't know what it tastes like but the 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 flavoring just sounds really really nice and so i did get the the butterscotch and caramel I just think this sounds like it's going to be delicious. I like butterscotch. Butterscotch remind me of back in the day, my grandmother used to always get butterscotch candy. And caramel, I shared many times, that's my favorite flavor of a coffee. So butterscotch caramel, it sounds really, really good. I cannot wait to give these a try. And so they do have these at Dollar Tree. And so, yeah, I did pick up two of these only because it has caramel in it. <laughs> so I have those. So I cannot wait to start dipping and dabbing. One of them coffees gonna make it to my sip snack and show Saturday. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna be probably pulling that up um, for one of the sip snack and show Saturdays. I finally found one of these. Um, this I've been on a hunt for these. They had them out about a month or so ago. I picked them up. Now they have had very mixed reviews of these particular items, but I personally like them and I've been on a hunt for more. And this is by Powerhouse. This is the toilet cleaning gel. You get 14 flower stamps in it. It is in the fragrance of Ocean Fresh. I was only able to find one of these. I've not had any issues with these and I really, really like it. I've been saving and saving and holding on for dear life for the one that I have in the bathroom. Um, I kind of went to Walmart and I think it's Scrub Buddies or something like that. It's very similar um, to this, but they wanted like $6. I want to say it was at that dollar, at, not the Dollar Tree, at the Walmart. I want to say it was, it was more than a dollar twenty-five. So I've been on the hunt for the dollar twenty-five ones. I like this one. You get 14 in a box for a dollar twenty-five and I've had no issues with them. So I was able to find one and I'm on the hunt for more. Hopefully I can run across these somewhere else. But yeah, I did pick up another box of this. They have, um, oh, I went ahead and because again, my friend Lady C hauls and all, she raved about these. And I think the one that I picked up, it was, I got the facial cleanser. I got the daytime or uh, something like that, the hydrating one. I have that. I've been using that and they're pretty good as well. But she raved about the one that you use at night, the night mask. And so these are the Olay dupes at the Dollar Tree. And so I went ahead and because she says she loves them and she raves about them. I went ahead because they're hard to find now. I went ahead and I got two. <laughs> so Lady C say they are good. My sis say they good. When my sis and them say they something that's really, really good, I'm going to go try it. If I can find it, I'm going to try it out. And so I did pick up two of the night ones because she said they are really, really good. I didn't want them to fully sell out and not put no more in stock. So I was able to find them. These were the last two in a box. I did pick up both of them because they're hard to find now. And they've been out for quite some time. So anybody who was interested in it, I'm quite sure you should have had enough time to pick them up. So I did pick up the last two that they had in and and what i really enjoyed about it because i really didn't pay attention or really didn't recognize it until i opened the other one for the um i guess it's the daytime moisturizing or something like that these are actually glass jaws and how cool is that because you don't really get too many glass products at the dollar tree and this is what it looks like it is glass it is super glass so yeah i'm anxious to give this a try um i'll be using this now you guys know i love my b pure little capsule facial capsules i love them and so but i'm willing to try something a little new as well and it's sealed and just to see what it smells like it's probably uh oh yeah it don't really have a fragrance but yeah i cannot wait to get this a try she said they're really good and I will be trying these out. And I'll probably let you guys know in an upcoming later type of video. Once I get really indulged into using a lot of these items, I'll let you guys know what my thoughts is. But yeah, this is the Olay Dupes um, by B, by B Pier. 
yeah this is the hydrating night mask and i think the other one i had was the day moisturizing mask so yeah i got two of the night masks so i'm anxious to give these a try so they have this one here as well i'm not really sure who the dupe is i know i've heard it multiple times i don't know if this like neutrogena or one of them i can't remember but this one here i actually purchased this one before i seen that one and this is by B Pure as well. This is the Glow Up Night Moisturizing with Watermelon Extract and Niacinamide. And so, yeah, this one here, I'm not sure who it is compared to. I want to say nitro, Nitrogena. Uh, I think that's who they say this is. I'm not, don't quote me on it. I'm not sure. But I picked up one of these as well. And I picked up this because they say the same thing. It's in a glass jar and they say it has a very nice fragrance to them. Oh, I know who I think I was watching. I don't know if you guys follow. She's her name. Her channel is Vivian Tries. She does ratings and she compares Dollar Tree, Walmart, and other stores to the cheaper brand, and she'll let you know if she likes them or not. Vivian Tries is the one who I really love. I like watching her channel, and she did a review on this, and she said it's compared to some brand name. I cannot remember who it is, but she raved about the smell and she said it smells of. Oh yeah. Oh, this has a very Oh, this has a very nice watermelon fragrance. They also came in the facial toner. I did not get it. I don't buy facial toners like that. But yeah, I say if I go back and I see the other ones, I'm going to pick it up because she talked about each and every one of them. She did a great review on them and she gave it high stars as well. So I'm going to go back and if I still see them, the facial toner and it was another one. It's a three piece set for this one here as well. I'm going to go probably pick those up as well. But yeah. This has a very nice watermelon fragrances. And so it came in this little box here as well. And it's a glass jar. And so, yeah, I'm going to go probably pick some more of this up. And this is the Glow Up Night Moisturizer as well with the watermelon extract and not cinnamon. So, yeah, kudos to that. So I'm going to be definitely picking up more. The other things that I have here from Dollar Tree, guys, these are some more disinfecting wipes they have at the Dollar Tree. It is Bleach Free Lemmy Shine. It kills over 99.9, I'm sorry, 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses. Um, it has a fresh lemon scent and you get 75 pre moistened wipes in the pack. Um, the wipes is an eight by seven inches. I picked up two. And I picked up two because like I said many times, we have to keep my grandmother area disinfected. We try to keep the house disinfected as well. We still have my grandmother here and we got to make sure she stays safe and secure at all times. So we don't need no type of outside bacteria, viruses or none coming in the house. So we always picking up different ones, um, different disinfectants and stuff like that. So when I seen these, I picked up two of these. You get 75 in here. Very nice um, container as well. So I did pick up two of those i'm happy to have those i picked up these here as well um i seen this um they had this one and they had a lavender vanilla one i didn't get the lavender vanilla one i just wasn't feeling the fragrance of it i don't know but i did get this one of the bourbon vanilla one this is the great sense wax melts um and so you get eight scented wax cubes in it and so i did pick up this one the bourbon vanilla it smells really nice it smells really, really nice. So I burn and melt wax on a regular basis. Excuse me. So this is going into my collection. So I have that one. But like I said, it came in a lavender vanilla one. I just wasn't feeling the that fragrance. It didn't it didn't do anything and i love lavender but that one just didn't do anything now it may once you melt it it may give off a nice fragrance but on a cold sniff it didn't do anything for me so i did get the bourbon vanilla one as well so i have that they also had a cute little um pen um this is by jot this is a journaling journaling pen by jot it says this is a floating pen and so it has a thick black i'm guessing ink um it writes in thick black I'm guessing that's what it says. But I got this one here. It has a little rose or something in it. They had this one and then they had another one. I want to say it was pink with glitter in it. I didn't get that one. But I did get this one. I just thought this was cute to have on hand. And they have a little flower inside of it, as you can kind of see. And it, ha it has some little liquid in it where it floats. I thought this was super cute. This was going in my book bag for school. And let me see if I can find a little something here to write on. So you can kind of see what it writes like. I got a little envelope right here. Let me see. Let me see.
as you can kind of see it's not thick but it's like a regular ink pen but it does write really really nice on here as well so as you can kind of see it has a nice little smooth writing it has a very nice smooth writing so yeah this is going in my book bag so yeah i did pick up this here as well i thought this was super cute and like i said it came in this flower and it also had one with the glitter in it i might have shared it on a walkthrough already but i did pick up that I have a lot of jewelry that I need to repair. And so one of the things that I needed, I needed some rings. Um, I had a little bracelet here that I had got from Timu. They had an initial on it. The initial fell off somewhere because I don't think I clamped it on properly. So I got some of these jump rings to repair because I do have some that's coming in the mail. And so, yeah, I got some of these little jump rings to add so I could have it a better um, hook on them when I add my little charms to it. But yeah, this one, they don't tell you how many come in a pack by Crafty Square, but it's a bunch of little rings if you're preparing jewelry or making jewelry and things like that. So yeah, I got one of those to add because my son gave me some in the color of gold, but I wear a lot of silver jewelry. And so I needed silver. And then they had these lobster claw clips. You get a 12 count in here from Crafty Square as well. And so I did get a pack of these. Um, just to kind of repair some of my jewelry and necklaces that I have on a regular basis. So I have that as well. And then these been floating around for some time. I did not pick them up, but I finally went ahead and picked them up because I need them to repair some jewelry. And just to have in my tool collection as well. These are some pliers. And so they have this one here. I don't really know the difference. I don't know if this is a needle nose or not, but they have this one here. Um, pliers in the little teal type of handle. So they have this one. Um, and this might be the needle nose. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the difference. They don't tell you the difference, but they have this one here with the little purple handle as well. This one here, I wasn't really feeling. I, they only had two, so I went ahead and picked them up because it's a little rusty here on the tip. It's a little bit rusty. Hold on, that's dog hair. It's a little rusty here on the tip, but I still went ahead and picked it up with the little purple handle. So they have these. And then they also had these here, the clap pliers i want to say that's what it looked like they clamp or something like that and so they had this one here with the black handle these are the only three that i seen at my dollar tree so they have these and i went ahead and picked them up this was in a crafted square now they have some other ones in the auto section but in the crafted square part this is the one that i got so i have those and the last thing that i'm going to share with you guys i think my girl angela's house and lifestyle i think she's the one i actually seen this at first and then I started saying other people haul these as well. I was excited. Years ago, my Dollar Tree used to have them. And I had some years ago. Um, and they worked. And they lasted a good little bit as well. But for $1.25, I thought this was an amazing find. And I was so happy that they brought these back after years of being disappeared. They are back. Umbrellas are back at the dollar tree how stinking cool is this these are regular umbrellas um they were a dollar 25 but my stores only had black and blue these are the only two that my stores i know years ago i have a red one i think i still have my red one somewhere it might be in my car my car is not here but yeah it may be it's still in my car but i have a red one from the dollar tree that i had got years ago um and i still have it but these are back, and so I did pick up a black one and a blue one to add into one into our car and one into my book bag for when I start school. I'll always have it for those rainy days when I have to go on campus. But umbrellas are back at the Dollar Tree. How cool is that? Um, and so, yeah, they don't have the cover to these, but you just, um, they do have the little, uh, what you call it? velcro they have the velcro stick here as well to keep in your um whatever you need to go and then they small enough you can actually put them in your bag or your purse or whatever and carry around with you super cute i was so happy we was able to find those again and they are made it back to my stores because a lot of things i see beyond my wish list we don't get in my stores but i was glad to see the umbrellas are back that is my what's the word wacky wednesday and another amazing dollar tree haul i am so excited to share these items with you guys and i hope you guys truly enjoyed this video 
So if this is your first time seeing a video from me, hello, welcome to my channel. I hope you stick around, become a part of my Tiffany's Passion Circle and subscribe to the channel so you can be a part of my YouTube family. I would love to have you. And for everyone else, again, happy holidays. Oh, they're approaching super fast. I'm super excited. This is my favorite time of the year. So I hope you guys are preparing as well. And Stay safe out there, stay healthy as well, and always remember time is not refundable, therefore live your best life possible, laugh each and every day, and love every minute of it. And until I share another video with you guys, goodbye.